What's up guys? This is a macro. I want to do a real quick video just showing how amazing these things are. I've learned that anytime you have a task that you're doing over and over and over and over again, it's really easy to make a macro to do it. And I used to try and make my macros work really quickly, but now I understand that the whole benefit of the macro is that you don't need to do it. So you can set tasks up so that they're more reliable, but end up taking about as long as you would to do them, right? Like if you look here at what's going on, this is not fast, like a human could do it this quickly, right? But by slowing it down and not speeding it up, I make the macro much, much, much more reliable. And I'm really confident I can run this a hundred times. And as long as there's lines of text to go through, it's gonna continue to work, right? So the advantage of this is once you have a stable macro, then you can leave it running while you're doing something else. So it doesn't have to be faster than you in order to save you a bunch of time, right? So this is something that was recorded really quickly. It took like uh, maybe a minute to record the first iteration. And then what it's doing is it's just playing on a loop over and over and over again. If you look at the top left, I know it's a mobile video, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can see it says playing, control Q to abort, control P to pause, and then next to that it has a number, 53. So that means that it's done this 53 times. And it'll continue doing this until it reaches the 100th iteration, just because I have it set to only iterate 100 times, but you could change that to anything, right? And so what's happening here is we have a sublime text on the left side, and then on the right side, we have a Google Sheet document. Sublime Text on the left side has two documents in it. One is a list of Walmart URLs, and each of those URLs is equal to roughly 1,000 items. So the macro is copying the URL and pasting it into the Google Sheet document. The Google Sheet document converts the list of 1,000 items into a list of 25 pages. So 25 URLs out of one URL, and each of those URLs represents 40 items. So you can see on the left, the, the furthest left-hand side, we are just about to hit 3,000 entries. Keep in mind that each of those entries resembles 40 items. So that's roughly 120,000 items resembled in that list on the left. And this is because I need to add way more items. Well, not way more, but I need to add more items to my store. The goal is to run the enterprise store at around 100,000 eBay items. And right now, my store has about 70,000, so I need to find way, way more. Um, and, you know, it sounds like I only need to find 30, 40,000 more, but the reality is to find 30,000 products that I actually want to sell, I have to find, like, 150,000 products at the beginning of the process. And then I trim and fine tune everything, right? But we're almost done at this point. Once we have that lift list on the left complete, so we've finished converting that middle list into the list on the left, then all I gotta do is just do the final scraping part. And that, is, the, once I'm at this point, it's much easier because I've, I've figured out all the keywords to make the list in the first place. But it's really cool to be at a point now where like I understand all of the processes well enough that I know how to do them quickly and in a way that's interesting to me. And it's exciting. I'm definitely really excited about the Enterprise Store. But I figured I'd do a quick video and I'm posting this on Facebook instead of my YouTube channel just, uh, just cause, <laughs> wow, I've been like, I think I started off like over here. And then, choo, I actually got a stand for my phone camera. So you won't have to deal with this kind of stuff as much. It's pretty cool how detailed this, uh, I got an iPhone 10 or X, so it was a gram. So, I mean, I should be pretty happy with it, right? You know, I, now that I've had it for a couple days, I didn't need to get an iPhone X. I could have gotten like a, a five or $600 Android phone, but I've never really, it's been a long time since I've had the Apple experience and considering I make so much video content, having, a good, strong microphone and camera on me at all times is gonna be really, really, really beneficial for the future of my YouTube channel. So I figured that I'd invest in it, you know, and my course also benefits from that as well. So yeah, 
Great stuff, guys. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time, okay? Ciao.